Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Rick and today we're going to be working on the 911 and more specifically we're going to be using the Renovo product line to freshen up my soft top. Now overall, even though my car has 123,000 miles on it, the soft top is actually in pretty decent condition. There's no real tears or rips. There are some wear spots and there's definitely some dirt on the top. So over the last few months I've been trying to figure out a way that I can basically refresh it. So I was searching around one night and I came across a video by Rusty's Collection and I'll link that below if you want to check out his series of videos on using these products. So after watching his videos I went onto their website and I did a lot more research and I finally ordered some. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to use the cleaner and we're going to clean the top. After cleaning the top then we're going to actually dye it to try to bring some life back into the color. And then after that, we're gonna waterproof it. And I will link to these products below if you have any interest in doing this yourself. I have no affiliation with this company at all. I've never used their products before, but it seemed like they gave good results. So I figured, what the heck, let's give it a try. Um, so again, to start with, basically, you're supposed to wet the top, get it a little bit damp, and then we're going to pour this into a different container, use a paintbrush and you're gonna paint it on, and then you wait 10 to 20 minutes and then rinse it. And if you have to repeat it, you can repeat it. Hopefully we won't have to. And then from there, I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And the next step, like I said, we'll be dyeing the top and after we dye it, then we will try to waterproof it again because it basically just sucks the water in. So if you're interested in that, stick around and I'll probably end up doing this as just one video. It's possible it'll turn into two, but I guess you'll find out by the time this is uh, posted. So thanks so much for watching. As always, leave uh, questions and comments below or send me an email, which you'll find below. Let's check this out and see if it works. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, closer to 20 if you count the time when I was actually brushing the uh, Renovo on the top. Now you're supposed to use warm water and a bristle brush and kind of scrub the top a little bit, rinse it off, and then see what you got. And if need be, you can repeat it. So let's go ahead and uh, start scrubbing. So it's the next morning and you could probably hear the rain off the uh, building here. But I wanted to give you a quick look at the top. It actually looks much cleaner and I apologize that I didn't get any great before shots. Um, it just didn't show up very well. But it's definitely cleaner. There are these little you know, wear marks on where the top folds, but and this little mark is still here, so I may work on that a little bit further. But as for the rest of it, other than a little bit of fuzz up there, it looks pretty good. It's hard to believe this top has is so old and has you know 123,000 miles on it, but hopefully we can maybe get this out of here. Or if nothing else, when I do the coloring, that it'll take that out. So. Cool, so far so good. All right, here we are on day two on the Renovo uh, roof restoration. As you can see, the cleaner did a really good job of getting, I'd say 95, 96% of the, the uh, stuff off the top. I mean, it was in pretty good shape. This kind of stuff here, I just had to go over the top with uh, with a uh, lint brush because I had some lint I'm thinking from the towel that I used to uh, dry the car off the other day but this is still the one spot I couldn't get that out so hopefully the dye will take care of that there's still a few little lint balls on here but for the most part it's 
it's good to go. So super clean, and they say they recommend to get all the uh, previous waterproofer off of the off of the top if possible. It just helps the color stick better. So at this point, what we're using today is what they call the reviver, and this is blue. So essentially, the big thing is, is don't do it in direct sunlight and uh, move pretty quickly. You don't want the edges to dry, I guess. And the other big thing is they don't, they say to not let um, anything dry on the car as far as the paint or the windows, things like that. The other big thing is make sure you shake it real well and then you basically just paint, paint it on like we did the other stuff. All right guys, so I put the second coat of the fabric stain on the top and I'm very pleased with it. The camera really doesn't pick it up very well <clears throat> and I wish it did, but the color came out very even and looks good. The only thing that I think is a little bit of a downfall and I might've mentioned this already, but where the top folds, it kind of highlights it in certain light. So over here you can Maybe the camera's picking it up. I can't really tell by looking at this little screen, but right there you can see it. But overall, I mean, I'm very pleased with it. My top was in pretty good condition anyway. But uh, I had that little stain right here that didn't quite come off with the cleaner. And I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can still see it a little bit, but it's, it's definitely much better. Um, and overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. So again, that's two coats, and I have enough to do a little bit more. I'd say probably real close to another third coat. So after cleaning the top, doing the two coats of the colorant, now we're moving on to the waterproofer. And this will put the waterproofing back into the top, obviously. So essentially how this works is they say don't shake it, pour it in another container like we have on the other steps. But this stuff you're supposed to stir and then put it on in a similar manner with a paintbrush from the inside out. And it says you should have enough to do at least two coats. I'm pretty sure we will. And it says to really moisten the top with it. Let it dry three hours in between coats. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to put the first coat on, wait, let it get real dry. And then we're going to put a second coat on. And then uh, for the last part of the video, we'll pull the car out and I'll spray it down and just see how the waterproofer is working and give you a better idea what the color looks like out in the sun. So let's get started with this. All right, so one coat on, and we'll come back in a little while and uh, put another coat on. One of the things I didn't mention at the beginning was, just like everything else, they say to wipe it off of the car with a damp rag as you go along. This stuff's real watery, so it kind of splashes all over, so you're gonna definitely need to do that. So here we are after two coats of waterproofer. And one of the suggestions I would make is don't use a cotton towel when you're wiping around when you're putting this stuff on because I've got little fuzzies everywhere now again and a little uh, kind of a white area right here from where I was trying to get those fuzzies off so I'm gonna pull it out and wet it so you can see how it keeps the water off now Good. 
So here's a look at the color and everything out in the sunlight. Again, ignore the fuzz. That was a mistake on my part by using that white towel. But overall, I think the color looks really good and uh, improved and definitely cleaned up the top. I would highly recommend it. Like I said, just don't use a cotton towel. Goodness gracious. But you can see how it's, the water's beading off here, which is pretty nice. So that's definitely improved as well. And we'll see how the color holds up um, over time. Not sure. So we'll give her a wash and take another look. Here's with the top wet now and drying. And you can see the color looks pretty even throughout. Very pleased with it. I wish the camera would do it justice, but one of the things I wanted to comment on, um, you saw that I was using a wet towel throughout to kind of wipe off, whether it was the cleaner, or the stain, or the uh, proofer. Be very diligent about doing that, because some, some of it I really had to scrub the kind of um, residue left over. I didn't quite get it all off. So it may be a good idea to do a two bucket method with your towel as you're wiping, as you're working, you know, putting whatever it is you're putting on. Take the time to rinse your rag in that second bucket each time so that you're not having any residual on here. And here, looks like I didn't get some of the dye off the this black trim. So keep that in mind as well. So I missed that. But uh, just some little little tricks. You can see again some of the, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, I'm trying to get it for you, but there's little bits that looks like dye to me that I'll be able to get off, but I'll just have to scrub it a little bit. So keep, definitely take heed to wiping stuff off if it runs under the paint or the trim. But uh, all in all, as far as the top goes, very, very pleased with how it came out. Again, mine wasn't that bad. Um, but I like the way it looks. looks good. So I just spent literally like two minutes with rubbing alcohol and it came off quite easily. I missed a little bit there, but uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol and paper towel and that comes off real quick. But I would still suggest taking the time to to either really thoroughly wipe that off like I said two, two bucket method maybe and uh, prevent it even if you want to take the time to even put tape on here probably not necessary since it comes off but um, it came off the window quite easily with rubbing alcohol as well all right guys so that's really the end of the soft top restoration using the Renovo products and again basically you have a cleaner, the dye, and then the waterproofer. And overall, you know, for about $100 US, this is actually a pretty easy project for anybody to do. I've never done anything like this before, and it was pretty straightforward. I think the biggest issue at this point is I'm curious to see how long or how this dye actually holds up over time. Putting the top up and down a bunch being out in the weather. Um, as you saw in the video, it did come out pretty even. There are a few spots in certain light now, having had the car out and driving it around that I can see it's not perfect, but it definitely did improve overall, I think the appearance of the top. Um, I mentioned this already in the video, but you get these little marks that got a little bit darker, the wear marks of just the basic folding of the top. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a little bit of a light area there. That's a, an area that kind of showed up in one of the videos in the past, trying to, I was trying to remove some lint from that spot. Um, the spot that I had over here, you can still kind of see it, but it is definitely improved a little bit of a stain that wouldn't come out. But overall, 
Um, I'm happy with it. I, I, I am a little bit nervous to see how the die holds up. Um, I will definitely highly recommend the cleaner and the waterproofer. Those were very easy to use and both did a very good job. Um, it's just, again, we'll just see how the die holds up. Some dirt I got on there. I drove it the other day and there's bugs everywhere because of all the rain that we've had. And it's like crazy butterfly season right now. <laughs> when I'm out riding my bike, I'm like pulling bugs or butterflies out of my helmet and they're landing on my head and it's pretty funny. So the car got a little bit dirty the other day. But anyway, overall, I would definitely recommend this. And again, I will leave all the information below if you guys want to check this product out further and maybe order some. Not affiliated, just found it on that Rusty's Collection uh, videos and uh, tried it out. And overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. So hopefully this video is helpful. If so, hit like, subscribe, check out more videos here on my page, and we'll see you next time.